In this video, we're going to take a look at a tool that's not very well known, which is called the Magic Wand tool. And that's located under the Bitmap drop-down menu. So if I select Bitmap here, you can see that I've got an option called Magic Wand. Now it's quite a useful tool. It basically creates boundaries around images or around reliefs. Now, over the years, we've expanded on this to create the bitmap to vector tool. So that would be what you would use to create tracings around images. Or if you wanted to use the relief one, that would be to create a boundary around a relief. Now this tool actually does both in the same tool. So if I select magic wand, you can see over on the right hand side, it gives me an option to use the image color or the relief height. Now, if I, let's say, zoom in on here, and let's say that I wanted to create a tracing around this purple color. If I make sure that my purple color is the primary color, and then just select, it creates a boundary around that purple color. Now, if I zoom in and drop this transparency down, you can see that it's quite jagged. Now, the reason for this, I'm not going to go into it too much, but the reason that this is in there is sometimes if you paste the relief down, you can get little jagged edges. And this is quite useful to eliminating those edges. Now, what you would tend to do normally would be to not create a tracing like this because it's not really that useful if you want to machine it. So if I undo that, let's turn the contrast up again. And this time I'm going to create smooth boundaries. So if you want them to be nice curvy lines, make sure that you click create smooth boundaries. Otherwise you will get that jagged edge. So if I click there and then drop that down, you can see it gives me a nice edge. And I can just carry on clicking wherever I want to create my vectors. Okay, so it's, it's quite a useful tool to be completely honest with you. Now, what the tolerance does, it's basically how close you get to the actual jaggedness or the lines that are there. So if I were to zoom in here, and let's maybe select, let me just bring that up, maybe the brown color. So if I select that there, you can see that it's created vectors all the way around this brown color. Now, if I adjust the tolerance to maybe 30%, draw it again, and you can see that it's a little bit closer to the actual peak of this pixel. Okay, so originally what it's doing, it's going through the middle of these pixels and this 30 percent is bringing it outwards now i'll be completely honest with you i never ever use that i'll just keep that at zero percent okay so that's a way of creating vectors really really quickly rather than using the bitmap to vector tool okay so just another way to do it now you can also do reliefs by using this tool and it saves you having to use the create relief from boundary. The only negative is that you can't set a height range. So all that this will do, it will just give you the bottom of this relief. So if I select relief height, again, got a tolerance. So it's exactly the same as the previous one. And just left click on the area, so the zero plane and it will create a boundary around there. Now, it also creates a boundary around the edge. So what you would have to do is maybe deselect and then delete that if you wanted to. So it gives you this nice boundary and then you can machine to that boundary if you wanted to. As I said before, the create boundary from relief does exactly the same thing and it's got a few more powerful options like setting the height Okay, so that's what the magic wand does within the software.